In this video, we have only one power supply, one battery, and the reading of the voltage, which is 1.43 volts. And then this one, there's a chemical energy stored inside the battery and then converted in a form of electrical energies. And then while the electrons or the electric charges, they, they come and go, they're moving through the wire. And then there's a kind of energy transfer as well, or energy change inside the lamp the lamp changes the electrical energy into light and if you press or let the lamp work for a long long time it means that there is a heat energy as well dissipated overall we have voltage and the reading of the current which is 0 0.19 ampere and these are important data for the first experiment in this case we have uh, we just added two dry cells or two batteries. So the reading of the voltage now, now in this case two, which is 2.73 volt. And then we notice that the brightness of the lamp increases and also the reading of the emitter, which is 0 0.28 here, 0 0.28 ampere. By the end of the video, the as the voltage increases, the current increases. So if you'd like the video, share and like and subscribe to our channel. See you next video. Okay. In this electric circuit, we have two uh, power supply or two batteries and two lamps connected in series. And my point here, which is to check how much is the reading of the DC, or the is the electric current is ampere and i which is 0 0.15 ampere what does it mean so the point is what's meant by ampere or the electric current uh, i equals a q over t it means i'm checking the amount of charges passing through the wire whatever from the conventional current from positive terminal to the negative terminal or um which is the same value by the way for whatever from the negative terminal to the positive terminal it's just that it's an amount here so uh, the amount so i would say this is the definition of the electric current is the amount of charges passing through the wire in unit time and in this case i will get which is uh, for mark i get the concept which is 0 0.15 ampere As I mentioned earlier, it doesn't matter the position of the meter, whatever the meter connected close to this battery or uh, connected at the other side. Once we have a complete path, which is a series connection, and series in physics it means end to end. So it means that from this, uh, the let me say the second side or the other side of the lamp to the first end, and then from the other end of the lamp to the meter and from the positive here to the positive and the reading of the emitter which is 0 0.15 ampere so once we are in complete path the number of charges passing through the electric wire or the electric circuit per unit time which is always constant here 0 0.5 ampere. hi in this video you will learn how to connect the two power supply or two batteries in series you will see the positive terminal connected to the negative terminal and then we have a, a series connection from the positive terminal and then to the voltmeter this is digital voltmeter and to the negative terminal at the other side if i press here the switch to see how much the voltage across 
the two terminals, the positive terminal from the battery one and the negative terminal, which is battery two. So the total voltage VT as a total voltage now, which is 2.94 volt. The question is, how much is the voltage across only one battery? Okay, check the one which is on the left. It's V1, 1.41 volt. I'll check the other one, which is V2 across the second battery, which is 1.53 volt. If you add the voltage across or the reading from the voltmeter one plus the reading from voltmeter two. So by calculation, you would see that the total of the V1 plus V2, it is 2.94 volt. What does it mean? It means these two dry cells or batteries connected in series, the voltage across the first one plus the voltage across the second one equals 2.95. Hopefully you get the concept. See you next video. In this electric circuit, we have two uh, power supply or two batteries and two lamps connected in series. And my point here, which is to check how much is the reading of the DC but which is the electric current is ampere and I, which is 0 0.15 ampere. What does it mean? The point is what's meant by ampere or the electric current. Uh, I equals Q over T. It means I'm checking the amount of charges passing through the wire, whatever from the conventional current from positive terminal to the negative terminal or I'm which is the same value, by the way, for whatever from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. It just it's an amount here. Uh, the amount I would say this is the definition of the electric current is the amount of charges passing through the wire in unit time. And in this case, I will get which is uh, for Mark. I get the concept, which is zero point fifty ampere. As I mentioned earlier, it doesn't matter the position of the meter, whatever the meter connected close to this battery or uh, connected at the other side. Once we have a complete path, which is a serious connection and series in physics, it means end to end. So it means from this, uh, the let me say the second side or the other side of the lamp to the first end and then from the other end of the lamp to the emitter and from the positive here to the positive and the reading of the emitter which is 0 0.15 ampere once we are in complete path the number of charges passing through the electric wire or the electric circuit per year at time which is always constant here 0 0.5 ampere now the reading is slightly higher because the electric current here, which is 0 0.19 ampere. What does it mean? If the electric current increases, the, it means the amount of charges passing through the electric circuit increases as well. And the brightness of the lamp slightly higher because I already add here one more battery. So one more battery, it means high voltage. And as a result, we have high current which is 0 0.19 or 0 0.20 approximately ampere. So there is a direct uh, proportional between voltage and the electric current. And from that point, from this point, we might go for another equation, but this one we can discuss in the next videos.